Disengaged and disconnected. For most of us, the war in Ukraine, that's a world away. But Army veteran and photojournalist Ed Zirkel decided he needed to go there and find out for himself. His pictures of war beg to tell me more. Yeah, you'll enjoy these photos. <laughs> he is 75 years old, and Ed Zirkel has seen it all, almost. Uh, so I went completely around uh, uh, the country and I uh, got to meet up with people in every city that would show me around. And Seeing the Ukrainian war up close was a personal assignment. This is the wide, you know, in the business, end up carrying two. For the man who long ago took pictures for the Army as a criminal investigator at Fort Bragg. And gave me a really good boots on the ground insight into what's going on. And the experience you would describe as? F for me personally, wonderful. A retired freelance photographer, Ed decided to meet up with fellow like, Rotarians in Kyiv. Air raid sirens would go off, people wouldn't even blink. They would just go about their business and do what they need to be done. He said supplies are coming in from everywhere and the warehousing and distribution of goods is efficient. Where they're taking goods from literally all over the world and distributing them to people in need uh, all across Ukraine. It's quite amazing. He stayed for three weeks, traveling and sleeping in a train car. Uh, where are you going? And I'm saying, well, to Warsaw in the back of the United States. And one of the guards standing over there looked at me and says, thank you. And all of a sudden, you know, I mean, there's this weird feeling that you're representing the United States being there. The suffering of a refugee child. It just broke your heart to watch this kid have to deal with not being at home. My mom's house because Irina she, has three kids and a mother. Her home is gone. And she walked into this house. It was dead silence and just burst into tears. Structures may be gone, but structure remains. She's keeping in the midst of all of this that's going on in a, in a bombed out house over here, keeping everything neat and orderly. And I think that sends a lot about these people. Ed's waiting on approval to go back to be embedded with the Ukrainian troops. And I think that their attitude is we're just gonna flat out outlast you. Personally, I think the Russians are in a lot of trouble. Ed's still working on where all of his pictures will land for public viewing. And if you have a story that needs to be told, email me at bjohansen at wcmh.com. Tell me more so I can share it with everyone.